Today we're aware that the Protestant Church, the Evangelical Church, as well as the Catholic Churches all use uh, pictures to represent the Lord and consider it to be a part of their educational material as well as their worship and evangelistic materials. So we also increasingly are becoming to, coming to understand that the early church did not use them and, and that the uh, early reformers, the early Protestant Church did not use these pictures and consider them to be idolatrous. So how has the Protestant Church changed so that we have the modern situation? I think we can identify several factors. Of course, one would be the Roman Catholic influence because they've always insisted that we need to have these images, these pictures. They use them in their worship and, and so on. And then beyond that you have the influence of uh, theological liberalism that has come into the Protestant denominations. Some time, at some point in the history of uh, these churches in this country, the mainline Protestant denominations, in order to train their ministers, began the practice of uh, sending their most promising young men to uh, universities in, in Europe. And oftentimes in those universities they were ta taught more philosophy and uh, theological liberalism that uh, question supernatural uh, aspects of the Bible. And so these ministers came home to do the same thing back in this country. And before too long they became the leaders of the denominations and they became, they became the uh, professors of theology in their seminaries. They became the leaders of the publishing houses, uh, preparing the curriculum for the churches. And of course, as leaders of the churches, they would appoint the ministers to the local churches. So this theological liberalism had a, uh, has had a profound influence upon the church in, in this country. In resistance to this, those who are conservative and believed uh, the authority of the Bible began to separate themselves from these churches and from these seminaries. They started their own schools. They started the Bible schools. And we have the Bible school movement. In the Bible school movement, one of the things that has had a great influence on the conservative part of the church has been the dispensational teaching that uh, became very popular in some of the leading Bible schools. A, a dispensationalism that was tried to be very true to the Bible and yet tended to see the Old Testament as more allegorical or not authoritative. The law was not so authoritative but, uh, for Christians. And so the second commandment uh, dropped into uh, a misunderstanding and lack of use in the churches. So people became quite unaware of this. So we have, uh, along with that, we have the Sunday School curriculum that is produced by the conservatives and uh, the material, the lessons for the children almost consistently today uses pictures to represent the Lord uh, to illustrate the gospel lessons. And with this has come the place where the Protestant Church, the Reformed Church, the Evangelical uh, Christians consider that pictures to represent the Lord are okay, they're almost necessary, they use them for their uh, Christian education, they use them in their Bible story books, they use them in their missionary films, uh, the Jesus film for instance, as they evangelize people in other countries. And in this situation we have a great reversal from the original position of, of the early church, and the original position of the Reformed Church. We now have the place where we have adopted the same practice as the Roman Catholic position and we no longer consider uh, Roman Catholics to be idolatrous. We do the same thing so we consider that it's okay. There's a real uh, need to examine this, to study this, and to apply the need, the uh, teaching of the Bible about who Christ is and about uh, the fact that God cannot uh, be imaged. We need to have people who will study this and take a stand for teaching the biblical view of who Christ is and how the knowledge of Him is communicated by the Bible and uh, is idolatrous to use pictures to represent Him.